Cheating is Cheating, a unified look at monogamy and ENM agreements. Cheating, or infidelity, has been a topic of interest and concern in romantic relationships throughout human history. The concept of fidelity varies across cultures and relationship structures, making it essential to understand the differences in how cheating is defined and experienced in monogamous versus ethically non-monogamous or ENM relationships. This article will explore these differences by examining the unique features of each relationship type, the psychological and emotional factors contributing to infidelity, and the impact of cheating on both partners involved. Defining cheating in monogamous and ethically non-monogamous relationships. Monogamous relationships. In monogamous relationships, cheating is generally defined as engaging in a romantic or sexual interaction with someone other than one's committed partner without their knowledge or consent. Mark, 2011. This violation of trust and exclusivity often leads to feelings of betrayal, hurt, and confusion for the deceived partner. Ethically non-monogamous relationships. Ethically non-monogamous relationships, which include polyamory, open relationships, and swinging, involve multiple romantic or sexual partners with the knowledge and consent of all parties involved. Barker and Langridge, 2010. In these relationships, cheating is not defined by engaging with multiple partners, but rather by violating the agreed-upon agreements and communication guidelines. V. and Rickert, 2014. Factors Contributing to Cheating in Monogamous and ENM Relationships Monogamous Relationships Several factors may contribute to cheating in monogamous relationships, such as dissatisfaction with the current relationship, unmet emotional or sexual needs, desire for novelty or excitement, and individual personality traits, Mark and others, 2011. Research has shown that individuals more prone to infidelity tend to have higher levels of narcissism, less empathy, and a greater propensity for risk-taking, Buss and Shackelford, 1997. Ethically non-monogamous relationships. In ENM relationships, cheating may occur when individuals struggle to adhere to the established agreements, experience jealousy or insecurity, or fail to communicate effectively about their desires and expectations. Barker and Langridge, 2010. Some research suggests that individuals in ENM relationships may have a higher tendency for emotional regulation and communication skills, which helps reduce the likelihood of cheating. Conley and others, 2017. Impact of cheating on partners in monogamous and ENM relationships. Monogamous relationships. Cheating in monogamous relationships leads to significant emotional distress for both partners, loss of trust, and potential relationship disillusion. Mark and others, 2011. For the deceived partner, feelings of betrayal, anger, and low self-esteem may result, while the cheating partner may experience guilt, regret, and fear of being discovered. Shackelford and others, 2004. Ethically non-monogamous relationships. Although cheating in ENM relationships may not involve the same level of betrayal as in monogamous relationships, it still leads to emotional distress and the potential breakdown of trust. Barker and Langridge, 2010. Both partners may experience insecurity, jealousy, and confusion, particularly if the cheating partner has violated previously agreed upon boundaries and agreements. Vo and Rickert, 2014. Understanding the difference in cheating between monogamous and ethically non-monogamous relationships is crucial in fostering healthy communication and trust within these diverse relationship structures. While monogamous relationships emphasize exclusivity and commitment, ethically, non-monogamous relationships prioritize open communication, flexibility, and negotiating agreements in addition to commitment. Despite these differences, cheating in both relationship types leads to emotional distress, loss of trust, and potential disillusion. To maintain healthy and satisfying relationships, individuals in both monogamous and ethically non-monogamous partnerships need to discuss their expectations, desires, and concerns openly. By fostering honest communication, practicing emotional regulation, and respecting each other's boundaries, partners can navigate the complexities of modern romantic relationships and significantly reduce the risk of cheating. Question: How is an ethically non-monogamous relationship not cheating? You are having sexual or emotional connections with other people, after all. The landscape of modern romantic relationships has diversified in recent years, with more individuals exploring alternative relationship structures like ethically non-monogamous ENM partnerships. However, misconceptions about ENM relationships often lead to assumption that they are inherently unfaithful or less committed than monogamous partnerships. Let's clarify why ENM relationships are not cheating by nature 
and discuss the differences between ENM and monogamous relationships regarding fidelity and commitment. Defining Ethically Non-Monogamous Relationships ENM relationships encompass various forms of consensual non-monogamy, including polyamory, open relationships, and swinging. Barker and Langridge, 2010. These relationships involve multiple romantic or sexual partners with the knowledge and consent of all parties involved. In contrast to cheating, which typically involves deception and betrayal, ENM relationships prioritizes open communication, flexibility, and the negotiation of agreements. Vo and Record, 2014. Cheating and Fidelity in ENM Relationships In ENM relationships, cheating is not defined by engaging with multiple partners, but rather by violating the agreed-upon agreements and communication guidelines. Vault and Record, 2014. Fidelity in these relationships is expressed through adherence to the established agreements, respect for each partner's autonomy, and commitment to maintaining open and honest communication. Barker and Langridge, 2010. For example, if partners agree that they will not engage in a one-night stand with someone they just met, and a partner ends up doing so, that partner has cheated. Cheating and Fidelity in Monogamous Relationships In monogamous relationships, cheating is typically defined as engaging in romantic or sexual interactions with someone other than one's committed partner without their knowledge or consent. Mark, 2011 Fidelity in these relationships is expressed through exclusivity and commitment to only one partner, and cheating, whether sexually or emotionally, is considered a significant violation of trust. Shackleford and others, 2004. The importance of consent and communication in ENM relationships. One key factor distinguishing ENM relationships from cheating is the presence of enthusiastic consent and open communication among all involved parties. Barker and Langridge, 2010. In ENM partnerships, Individuals willingly engage in non-monogamous dynamics with clear boundaries and expectations established through ongoing discussions. Vo and Record, 2014. This emphasis on consent and communication allows far greater transparency and trust in ENM relationships, significantly reducing the likelihood of deception or harmful behavior. Conley and others, 2017. For more information regarding the differences between boundaries, agreements, and rules, Please check out episode 25, Navigating Ethical Non-Monogamy, Clearing Boundaries, Agreements, and Rules for Respectful Relationships. Challenging Stereotypes and Misconceptions About ENM Relationships Despite growing acceptance of diverse relationship structures, ENM relationships are often unfairly labeled as inherently unfaithful or less committed than monogamous partnerships. Barker and Langridge, 2010. While it is a fact that some people do get into non-monogamy because they are afraid of commitment, that is not the case for all. For more information about why some people avoid commitment, check out our podcast episode 45, Unlocking Love, Navigating Attachment and Emotional Vulnerability, and episode 48, Unlocking Fearful Attachment, Healing Bonds for a Secure Future. While ENM relationships are often unfairly labeled as inherently unfaithful or less committed than monogamous partnerships, Research has shown that ENM individuals can form deep emotional connection and maintain long-term, lifelong, committed relationships. Moores and others, 2014. By challenging the stereotypes of being unfaithful and non-committal and promoting a broader understanding of fidelity and commitment, society can foster greater acceptance and support for these diverse relationship structures. It is essential to remember that ethically non-monogamous relationships are not inherently unfaithful or less committed than monogamous partnerships. By redefining cheating and fidelity within the context of ENM relationships, it becomes clear that successful ENM partnerships are built on high levels of enthusiastic consent, secure attachment styles, communication, and mutual respect. As society continues to evolve and embrace diverse relationship structures, it is crucial to challenge misconceptions and stereotypes that contribute to the stigmatization of ENM relationships. By recognizing that ethically non-monogamous relationships prioritize consent, communication, and adherence to established agreements, it becomes evident that they are not synonymous with cheating. In fact, ENM relationships can offer unique opportunities for personal growth, self-discovery, and exploring diverse relationship dynamics not found in monogamous relationships. Barker and Langridge, 2010. Furthermore, research has indicated that ENM individuals often possess powerful communication skills and emotional intelligence, contributing to relationship satisfaction and stability. Conley and others, 2017. Ultimately, the key to understanding why ENM relationships are not cheating 
lies in acknowledging the fundamental differences in how fidelity and commitment are defined and enacted within these diverse relationship structures. By fostering open-mindedness and empathy, society can support individuals in pursuing the relationship models that best align with their values, desires, and needs. Shout out to Bex Hayes for suggesting this part on cheating and ideas for the title. As we draw to a close on this episode of our podcast, we hope the conversations, insights, and personal experiences we've shared today have given you a new perspective on non-monogamy, monogamy, in addition to how cheating is defined and why cheating is cheating. Also remember that the key to any lifelong partnership or partnerships must have the following elements, secure attachment styles, trust, open communication, the act of embracing vulnerability, empathy, interdependence, and personal growth. While we might assume that these would be the default settings, the data shows otherwise, and it can be rare to find someone with all of these qualities. It is entirely worth learning to identify people with these qualities. We want to thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. We hope you leave this episode feeling inspired, thoughtful, and armed with new insights to bring into your relationships and personal development. Until our next episode, continue to love fearlessly, communicate openly, and journey boldly. This is your host, Daniel Boyd, signing off from another hopefully enriching episode of our podcast, Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. As always, our sources are in the description. Goodbye for now, and keep exploring the many dimensions of love and relationships.